Hello everyone and welcome to a Shop Disney haul. If you're new here, my name is Brogan and I do lots of home, lifestyle, travel and Disney vlogs. And today is a Disney haul from, mostly everything's from Shop Disney, I think. But I will leave links below for you for all the stuff that I'm gonna be showing you today. I definitely need an intervention because I have placed three orders on Shop Disney recently. And the reason for that is because I've realized over the years that if you see something you really like, you almost have to order it straight away because these things sell out really quickly. So if anything is still available, which I think some of it or most of it is, um, now's the chance to pick it up. I have got a massive bag here. <laughs> to show you. So we're gonna go through what's in my bag, in my Shop Disney bag, but first we need to put my ears on and I actually have new ears, so I thought we would wear these. I saw these on the website and I would have normally just completely um, scrolled past, I guess. I definitely don't need any more mini ears whatsoever. But I saw my friend Sam from Sam for God wearing these in a vlog and they looked so nice on her. So I got them for myself as well. They were 24 pounds and they are kind of, I guess, Halloween, autumn ears. I loved the sparkle on them and the sort of check ears. I just thought these were really nice. They do say haunt it on the side, which I'm not keen on. And also look, what's this? Which is why I've got a pair of scissors in my hands. Um, but with my hair, normally covering the band. I'm not so fussed on that. How lovely are these? I just think they look really nice. I'm not planning on going to the parks for any Halloween season this year, but I can wear them around Halloween around the house and I will put them away in my collection for hopefully maybe next year. I'd love to do Disneyland Paris Halloween next year. But yeah, I think they look really nice. So yeah, did I say they were 24 pounds? And they have so many mini ears on the website right now. So definitely go and check them out. You'll see there's a very common theme of what I like on Shop Disney right now. And it's the Mickey, Minnie and gang skiing or like skiing themed or winter lodge uh, stuff. <laughs> It's just, I clearly have taken a liking in it. I've just bought this bag from Shop Disney US and it's coming. I talked about it on Instagram. I use a website called Stackery. I will leave my code below if you wanna get a discount for using it. It's very self-explanatory. You just put in the address that it provides you and then they ship it on. And I haven't had to pay any additional taxes or customs on my last order, but We'll see when the bag arrives. But yeah, I've bought the skiing bag. My point is, is that I'm obsessed with this range. Anything to do with Mickey and Minnie skiing. So you'll see a lot of the theme. So the first things I actually bought were the bags. So this is obviously the big bag. I think they're ice skating in this one, aren't they? Yeah, Minnie Mouse ice skating. It's the same on the other side. And these are just so handy around Christmas time for putting presents in, storing stuff. So I thought I would get a couple, but I couldn't remember what the sizes were like. So I got the big one, the standard and the small. The standard is absolutely my favorite. And honestly, I don't even think I want to like use it, although it did arrive a little bit crushed. So hopefully I can flatten that out, but it's Mickey skiing. And if you don't know, I've skied for Christmas most of my life. I love skiing and I love Disney. So this is just like the perfect range. Whoever designed this, it's called Waltz Lodge. So yeah, I uh, had to get the bags. And I had a really good discount code every time I place an order. I think I got like 20% off most of the time. So basically any prices you see, I would have paid 20% less. So the bags ended up being like one or two pounds each. If that, I think this was only like a pound. Um, so yeah, this is the small one that's got Mickey and Minnie just doing like a carol singing, I guess. Minnie Mouse holiday shop on this one. So I had to get those little bags. I know that's a bit silly to get the bags but you know and then when i was in primark today i picked up this um gift wrap this was one pound fifty and i know that primark have got their own skiing inspired range in as well but they didn't have any any of it in my store today but this uh is just the christmas wrapping paper i thought i'd get as well just thought it was very cute with them ice skating and mickey's wearing a scarf and He's got shopping bags and Minnie's holding gifts and everything. So I picked up those. So let's do the big things from this collection. So the first thing I got 
<laughs> oh guys, I don't need any more blankets, but I couldn't help myself. This is the fleece and flannel throw. And again, it's the um, Waltz Lodge skiing holiday range. It's reversible. So one side looks like this, the like check, and the other side is the design. And it's exactly the same as all the other stuff. So it's got like ski lodge and they're sledging and ice skating and they're building a snowman and it's just a lovely Christmas blanket so yeah we already do have a red Mickey <laughs> blanket um, but now we have two so we can have one each on the sofa but I think this is so lovely look at the little ski house so I had to have that it was quite expensive but again I paid 20% less I think I was I paid 40 pound for it which I appreciate is um is pricey it's normally 50 and then i definitely got 20 percent less on this because this was crazy money originally it was 65 pound and i think i paid again i think i paid 40 something which is still really expensive but it's the um tree skirt and last year we put up our very first christmas tree in our first home and the one thing that i completely forgot about was a tree skirt and i didn't find one for that season for that year so i ended up just covering the bottom of the tree with christmas gifts and that did the job but i said to benj i I'm going to keep an eye out for a really nice skirt that we can have um, once we put the tree up and they did not disappoint I had to have this I actually left it on my first order and then I regretted it and I was like why did I do that I really need a tree skirt and this is beautiful we also have loads of Christmas decorations which I'm going to show you and we have the train that goes all the way around the bottom of our tree so our tree is very much Disney inspired so I have no idea if this is the right size I'm hoping that it will be and if it's not then I will get it tailored <laughs> look at Dale on a little um snowboard is he snowboarding yeah loads of the characters skiing if you can see there skiing who is that actually is that Goofy is it Goofy yeah oh my gosh look at Mickey under there on a little sledge again I love it I absolutely love it good very much got a little theme going on so we might as well stick with the christmas stuff i actually bought this next in the oxford street disney store a few months ago it was at well it was beginning of august actually and i had to show you again just in case you missed the vlog because this was a really good price i got it originally it was 35 pound and i paid 24 pound 50 and it's mickey and minnie as a light up figurine so i'm going to leave it in the box to keep it nice until christmas but i thought we could put that somewhere i just think it looks really lovely with them just standing in the snow with a little mickey reef in the background and snowmen <laughs> I love it loads I'm so glad I got that so yes more Christmas Disney stuff to put around the house good the next thing I also bought in the Disney store was this bell rose decoration and I did actually get this in the sale as you can see it was 15 pound but I paid £10.50 but I thought I'd show you because it is actually available now they have put it back up on the website and it, they seem to do this they repeat some decorations from the year before um but yeah I'll link it in case it is one that you really want but obviously I paid £5 less but look at the little rose lighting up like that I think it's gorgeous so I got that. I wasn't sure whether to mention this, but I did place an order that was sadly lost and it had a few Christmas decorations in it, like Chip and Dale in a little nut that I was in love with. But that order was lost and everything went out of stock. So I obviously couldn't get any of it again, which was really disappointing, but they gave me a code for some free shipping, which is always helpful. Um, I wasn't obviously too upset and I did look on Shop Disney US and they are available over there but I just didn't want to take the risk of trying to get things sent over so I will keep an eye out in case any more Christmas decorations do drop. We already have quite a good selection I'm not gonna lie but I did see this one and I knew I had to have it. It was £15 and it is Moana and I love Moana. It's one of my favourite films and she's one of my favourite characters. Now Benji thinks this is not like Christmassy so why would I want a decoration where you know she's not in any Christmas attire or of any description or whatever but it's just the nod of being my very favourite film and having her amongst my Disney collection I just think is lovely so I just think it's such a beautiful um, decoration with the wave around it as well. Really really pretty so I had to have that as well, obviously. Little nod to my fave. Another Christmas thing I bought. <laughs> I got the mug, guys. I got the mug. I had this in my first order that got lost. And then when I went to replace the order, I was like, 
do I need the mug? Do I actually need the mug? Because it was one of the only things left. I have so many. I even have a mug press machine now where I can design and make my own mugs. Once I realized I wasn't gonna get my order, I um, just told myself that I needed it and missed it. So this was 14 pound. Yeah, again, from Walt's Holiday Lodge collection. And on this side is Mickey and Minnie with a hot drink. And then on this side we have Pluto and Dale. Uh, oh, and Chip and Dale actually. And the handle is like a candy cane. I will admit, I don't love the feeling of the bottom. I don't know why they do this with these. Like it feels a bit like, it gives me goosebumps. <laughs> Does that make any sense to anyone? Um, but I don't have to touch the bottom. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's a really nice size actually. It's just a really lovely Christmas mug. So I had to have that, didn't I? This next thing is so random. You're gonna be like, Brogan, what are you gonna use that for? I don't know. I don't know, I just wanted it. Every year I see people's vlogs and I've always wanted one of these little necklaces <laughs> that lights up. Now you can't appreciate this when I've got all my studio lights on here, but this is one of these glowing necklaces. It was 10 pound and I just thought this could be quite fun for Christmas this year, for photos, if we go and see any Christmas lights. I just think it's really cute. And if we ever do end up in the parks at Christmas time, I could take it, although I'm a bit worried that it might smash, but I just thought it was really fun. Even if you had it as decoration hanging or you hooked it round a reef, I just, they're just really fun, aren't they, for 10 pound? I know it's meant to be a necklace, but you could use it for loads of different things, so. Then, as we know, I'm obsessed with the skiing collection. This pin is also the same as my lounge fly bag that's coming. It's Mickey and Minnie sat on a chairlift, and I obviously had to have this. Um, just so lovely. It was nine pound, and it's a really nice size, so that was the first pin. And then the second one I got was the Mickey Reef. This was also nine pound. It looks like this. I hope you can appreciate it. It's actually really beautiful. It's quite shiny. The detail on it's really nice. Just a really nice Christmassy pin. I didn't need both, but um, apparently at the time I felt like I needed both, so I got both. The last thing I bought before I show you a couple of things I was gifted recently was the Lego castle. So everyone knows that Lego sell the big Cinderella castle for like 250 pounds. And although I would love it, not only to build it, but to have it on display, it is just a bit too big to put anywhere. So when they said they were releasing a mini version for the 50th anniversary, I lost my mind and I ordered it the minute it came on Shop Disney UK. So it was only 30 pound, which I think is a really good price. And this would make a really really good gift if you have a Disney fan in your life. I actually have some friends I know would absolutely love this. It's just because it's really cute and you can obviously build it as like the act of building it and making it, but um, you can have it on display. So I'm gonna put it in my office when it's done, but the detail on it, on it is really nice. You've got the little clock and then Mickey and the drawbridge and everything. It's just really lovely. It says 12 plus in terms of build, but again like Christmas time this would be nice. So speaking of Lego I also have the Winnie the Pooh tree and this was a very generous gift from Disney and Lego. I got a couple of things to show you. I got a huge box full of stuff to celebrate Winnie the Pooh's 95th anniversary recently. So I just dug out a few of my favorite things. This is the first one. It's um, the tree. Again, the detailing on this is absolutely amazing. If you have a little look on the back, you can actually see up close Pooh inside the tree and all the little bits. He's got a little honey pot, obviously, and a book, and you've got all the gang there. There's even a little box, like a pot that says Pooh sticks. I just think it's lovely and I am gonna so enjoy building this myself. I don't know where I'm gonna store this one as well, but had to show you because I think it's nice. And then I was also sent this puzzle, which I think is lovely. I really love puzzles. This is a thousand piece one from Ravensburger. Ravensburger puzzles and yeah it's a collector's edition Winnie the Pooh one because it's his birthday party which is nice because he's just celebrating the 95th birthday so as you can see the whole gang having a party I love it absolutely love it I know my friend Gary would love this as well it's just a really nice thing to have and I, I puzzles at Christmas time as well for me perfect another little Winnie the Pooh thing I thought was really nice was this little lounge fly card holder and it's got poo in a little daisy. You open it up like that for your cards. And on the back, it's got a clear slot for like ID or whatever. 
and I love Landfly products so much. So yeah, this was really cute as well. I thought I'd show you that. I'd never seen it before. So don't know how much it is, but it's a Daisy Head card holder. So I'll find a link if you're interested. And then last but not least, I was also kindly sent the Royal Mint Winnie the Pooh coin. And it's got, again, all of them on the coin if that if you can see that I'm gonna leave it in the packaging and on the card because I know that these are sort of a collectible and this is for the 95th anniversary so I love that too that's my first coin that I have like this Benji did collect me some 50ps that had different designs on but I've never had one on a case and board like this so I almost forgot one last thing and I had to show you this because I don't think this does justice on a website you really do need to see it in person really to appreciate it but just trust me on this i was kindly sent this castle lounge fly bag from very nico they very kindly sent me a couple of bags now but i've not been asked to share or talk about it at all they are just very generous i'm actually going to an event with them next week so you'll see that in a future vlog coming up but they gave me this bag to wear to the disney 50th anniversary party we went to in the uk in london and i did a whole vlog from that if you want to go check it out but this is going to be the most perfect park bag especially in magic kingdom i also have an amazing discount for very nico by the way which i'll leave linked below but on the front obviously we have the castle i wasn't hugely in love with this because i thought it might like bend and i did have to sort of shape it a bit and it's still sort of bending back a bit but actually it is quite a nice touch that gives it that 3d sort of effect we've got cinderella's carriage here we've got a little zip the lining is gorgeous i'll show you that in a minute then there's a really lovely sort of charm on the zip if I come in close and then on this side you may notice I actually have a rare one where my logo is upside down talk to me in the comments if you know you know apparently these are sought after it was a mistake and they did offer to replace it but I just said it was fine I was grateful just for the bag so here you go I have a um uh one with the logo upside down but anyway the back is also equally as beautiful and i feel like the back of these lounge fly bags is always just ignored no one ever obviously sees it when it's on your back but to me this level of detailing is what makes these bags so nice and it's got cinderella changing into her dress and there's a little embroidered quote that says a dream is a wish your heart makes obviously and i think that's really really nice i love the illustration of her here actually like she's really sad here and then she goes into cinderella and then let's just talk about the lining too because it's just so nice the color is lovely on this as well but look inside here i'm hoping you can see look at that it's so lovely it's got a little zip in it and actually you can fit quite a lot of stuff in these things i obviously would need bench to have another rucksack as well if for a park bag because i need to carry things like spare flip-flops if i'm wearing trainers or like i don't know any food or water bottles other than that i can fit my vlog camera my purse and my other bits and bobs but it really is just an accessory let's face it but i think they're amazing they're really expensive but obviously like i said i've got a bit of discount really comfy super super cute i have become totally in love i get it i definitely don't have a crazy collection like some people do but um i do have for number five on the way so maybe watch this space but yeah love it so thank you very much to very nico it's a really lovely bag i think that's everything i have plenty of new disney things now to keep me content until i can get out to the parks you guys know i'm probably going to end up buying some things when i'm next in the store or when there's a sale or maybe if they drop any more christmas stuff especially if it's from this waltz lodge collection clearly i'm the perfect consumer for it i absolutely love it i love all my new things hopefully you do too thank you for watching this and i'll see you again in my next ones bye